Is there right. any place I can get these recordings? Yes, I'm just trying to figure that out now. <laughs> because they're too big, and um, so I have to put them in a Dropbox. Uh, so I was just clearing out my Dropbox. So anyways, all right, so tonight, very, very, um, very good stuff. Did everybody kind of get to watch the objections video for 30, 30 minutes? I, I've, I've done it like two or three times in the last two weeks I've listened to it. All right, perfect. Brian, you'll get cued into that too. Uh, I just added Brian. Um, so th that one is absolutely superb for covering everything that you're going to come across. And um, Pam Barnum, is she's a Canadian, and like she says on there, she's a, she used to be a Crown attorney. Um, absolutely no time for her family um, and her and her husband decided to go at this full time well not full time they worked at it uh, um, covered his salary then covered her salary then she retired from being a crown attorney judge here in Canada so she used to be a criminal lawyer um, I believe in the uh, Toronto area so and but her story it's a little bit in there but uh she so i think it's been like seven years she's turned she's been uh, it took her to become a millionaire and or maybe it was five i don't know anyways it's between five and seven is kind of the average and um she's one of those success stories that is is phenomenal and just to see that you can have like a really demanding job and around hey peter is that you All right, Peter, you're, I'm just going to um, mute everybody anyways. Um, I muted myself. Mute, 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 mute. All right, can everybody hear me? Thumbs up? Okay, perfect. Okay, so anyways, that is one of the ones, um, one of the videos that's in our DTS resource page. And that's, um, so I put all these videos that are training related there. So you can find them all the time. You can access them. You can listen to them whenever you're driving or cycling. <laughs> um, uh, but they're there to listen to. If you just need a little reminder or like a kickstart to the day or something, um, they're really great to access. And uh, Brian, there's a bunch in there and Peter. Um, so those are um, good places to find some information. So I just want to thank everybody for coming on. I know it's like Boxing Day and some of us, you know, are with family. I know that's why a couple of people can't jump on. Um, so, but the thing about our business is that it continues on. And um, because we're in the health business, um, people may be partying right now. We still have New Year's Eve. Hello, whoever got in, I'm just going to mute you and uh, you don't have your microphone on. Okay. Um, so, so the party still goes on, right? We have till January 1st, people are still in party mode and not really thinking about weight loss and 2017 and their health goals and everything like that. So, um, but that's where it's just perfect for us to connect with friends and to reach out and let them know what you're doing and um, that maybe this is something that they might want to look into. Um, so these trainings are to help you get organized, um, become systematic, don't give not to get overwhelmed and to understand more of the business and how this can really, how you can really make it work for you. So first thing on the agenda is I'm just going to talk quickly because I want to get to a quick text blast at the end. It's really important. Um, I've been doing these um, since September and it's a great way to like a pure focus connection to uh, reaching out and connecting with people and then just having them trickle in uh, throughout the week so you have people to talk to where you know some of us are having um, might have a difficult time just putting in some of that connecting time okay so first thing uh, this is about organization and to have an office space organized for yourself 
right now I'm not sitting at my desk. Um, the kids are actually sleeping in the basement, so I'm relegated to upstairs on the dining room table. But if you happen to be working on the dining room table all the time, it is time to allocate a spot in your house for your office. And this is very important because it's good to have all your stuff in one place and not all over the house. And also so you can find things. And if you want to start using this as a tax write-off, you have to have a designated office space. Okay, so starting the business, you can start using this. I think it's something like if you work 45 minutes a day, you can start using this as a tax write-off. If you have your office, this is where you can use it as a tax write-off parts of your house. Um, you know, your electricity, your phone, your cell phone, your gas, to your, um, to designations where you meet up with friends. So first thing is your desk. So if that's not assembled, it's good to make time to get something organized or clean up some space or whatever. Okay. So number one, your desk. Number two is having an agenda. Now I know these days people love to use their phones for everything, but let's be realistic. Um, phones are great. They lose power. They die. You lose them. All that great th stuff. And also, um, if you really want to focus on building your business, um, millionaires do this. So we should do this. And it's having an agenda that's however big you like to have them. This is, I like mine, it's a paper size. Um, it is from Minister 2016, uh, QUO Vetus, and uh, you can find this in Staples. Um, I just got a new one that I'm slowly transitioning, and it is um, the Prestige model i don't know if you get it right there and i moved to this one because it has more um you can see it has more note space on the bottom of each page um and also on the sides uh, there but um so i'm trying that one because i felt that i had not enough space for notes um and so having something like this and I went through an Organize Your Life um, uh, workshop or a course with Susan Sly uh, last winter, and she did one for business and then another for business. I did all three, and this is one of the things that she talked a lot about, and it's having your agenda and having something you can write in. Okay, so what she did is you get yourself some, <clears throat> some highlighters, you decide what um, the colors represent. So she used green for money. So that's where you're working. Um, and then you start highlighting. So of course you have your work time. It's very important to put your gym time in, your family time. And when are you gonna dedicate time for the business? Okay, whether it's one hour at night or two hours at night or maybe half a day on the weekend. Um, it, it should be allocated in your agenda. And um, so that's, that's this. This is my stuff. I have meetings and all sorts of things. Up here is um, dedicated to my, my, um, my new enrollees. So if you just started, you would have your names up here for 10 days and I would be connecting with you to see how you're doing and stuff like that and customer service and, you know, just make sure you're using the products and you're not, you know, um, having a hard time or you're not drinking up water or whatever. Um, and then I also follow, I'm starting to follow everybody on their auto ship for three to four months. So to get all my, Brian is welcoming, I'm going to have to welcome back Brian because he was here two years ago, but now he's back. And he's joined the Ice of Body Challenge. So I'm going to start following all my new um, people 
for four months just to make and make sure they're on the ISO body challenge. And so that's my notes. So that's where my notes are. And then here are people I connected with and I have names on every sheet. Um, I start names at the bottom. If I met or met somebody or connected or something during the day, I wrote their names down. So it's always been captured somewhere. Okay? I do not use my phone for anything besides connecting on Facebook. So um, I have everything here and I use my emails and I use another system through my Isogenics in my back office. But I'm not going to talk about that right now. Um, so getting yourself organized in an agenda is extremely important, okay? Now, moving on. Uh, so office space organizer follow-ups. Okay, so network marketing. Um, if you want to create residual income, you have to follow up. You have to prospect, you have to meet, talk to people, and you have to follow up with both these groups of people that you met, okay? Now, if you didn't write their names down or you captured them somewhere, but for me, if it's not written down, like, or, you know, I use Messenger and stuff like that, but people get lost, let's just be honest. And some of those people could be really great people. They could really need your products. Um, so there's a couple systems that I am working with. So it's just like you learn things from different people and you try and figure out what works best for you. Okay. Now, um, I have been connecting with people for two years. Now, part of, I mentioned I did a third, a third organize your life for the entrepreneur with Susan Sly in September. This was the third one. And she, uh, she, she said, okay, make a list of a hundred people, you know, but what I did is I went back to all these people that I connected with. I had sheets and sheets of people that I, that I've, friended from Facebook or that I had talked to or friend. anyways, I had sheets and little papers and everything. When I put all those names from that I had in my agenda and on all those sheets, I had 600 people I had not followed up with 600. Okay. So this is where it's extremely important. <laughs> and thankfully I, I wrote everybody's name down. Um, but I have started going back to those people now um, that I connected with a year ago. And I'm like, hey, how are you doing? You know, like, and some people have, you know, we've started conversations. Um, so I have that book and it's basically a binder or a duotang with sheets in it. Right? And this is my my connection and my follow-up sheets. So I'm starting to use this um, for my text blast for anybody new. I mean, I'm starting to use this system right here. So that I'm right now it's kind of working for me. Now, if you've met Steve Bentley, he's our upline and a couple other people do this too, is they use cue cards. Okay. Cue cards. So what they do is they write the person's name. And if you start having conversations, like you write a little bit of information, right? And their contact info, if you got it. And you follow up with them. And so what I have here is the days of the month from one to 30. And so this is the current month. And so I'll meet with that person and say, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna reconnect with that person in, uh, January 14th. So I'll put their contact info in January for or the 14th day. And when I come to that day, I'll just flip her a message and see what she's doing and how she's doing, whatever. Um, there's also some people are like, well, I'm not really interested right now, but you know, let me a message in six months. Okay. Well, they go in the June the June list, because I have all the months of the year. Sorry. 
Hmm. All the months of the year. I know they're very fancy. I did them myself. <laughs> um, so because I couldn't find big cue cards, so I had to cut them all up. And then there are some people who are absolutely not interested. And then there are the people who actually enrolled, which go in the back. So this is a system that I am trying. What I did really get into was writing stuff on the cue cards about people that I start having conversations with. Because, you know, like, because this is about building relationships, right? Um, if you don't ask questions, you're never going to know what these, what people are looking for. You know, like they might be, they might, you might think one thing is something totally other that they're looking for from isogenics or what you can offer. So it's important to build relationships. And um, I've had long conversations with people and I think it's great because the more you dig, the more you find common things that you can actually, you know, talk about, you know, um, it's fine to talk about just like, you know, health and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, like, who are they? Um, what do they do? What do they like? And, you know, um, based on what they're looking for, um, you might have a good story for them, or you might know somebody who's like them. But, you know, the thing is to get to know people. It's not just like making a sale right now, it's like finding out how you can best serve this person. So that's where I find like writing things down on paper serves me well because then I forget and I can go back and go, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then next time I connect with them, I'm like, hey, how are, how's your fishing expedition going? Or like, how do you, you know, like whatever, whatever they do. So these are, this, this system and this system are kind of the two things that I'm using to connect, to track who I connect with, okay? And that goes for during the day, and that's where I put it on here. So I have these three things that kind of going on. Now you might think that's a lot, and I think it's a lot. I've got to whittle it down to what works best, but these are ideas. Um, because people are like, how do you do it? What do you do? Well, I'm giving you some suggestions and whatever you do, whatever it is, just make sure you're writing them down. People's names of who you contact or connect with somewhere. And maybe somewhere like not little itty bitty pieces of paper. Cause I had so many of those. I put them all in a paper, like a plastic bag because I took those names and I put them in my binder and then I, I put them away. So, you know, cause like everybody's like here, here's the little sheet, you know, like you meet them at the restaurant, you know, like connect with me. <laughs> You're like, ah, I don't want to lose it. So, you know, write it down. Okay. Next thing. Um, yeah, my agenda. Okay. Now, let's go over, um, before we get into Facebook and how uh, some of the ways you can connect with people on Facebook, um, I'm going to go over the how to make your first $1,000 while building your team. So we should go over this. And this is, my friends, something that all of you need to know and be able to regurgitate anywhere at the restaurant, coffee shop, um, after a ride, you should be able to put, pull, out, pull out a paper, napkin, whatever, and write down like, how can your person make their first thousand dollars? Okay, this is something you need to know. All right, I got my handy dandy white bar. Merry Christmas. Okay, and it's all about you plus you plus two, Yeah. them plus two that's where it all starts and then in order to get to crystal executive you need to make five groupings of three on your right and left side so it's a total of 30 people that you need to well in your team to start so let's do this quickly all right, so I'll put uh, me here, 
and I'll put, um, I don't know. I'm just going to make up initials here. So Mary and Dave, my right and left, my two people, I always say the first, you know, the, the quickest, the quicker you get to, um, consultant. So you're looking for consultant. Oh, sorry. So your associate here, consultant, manager, director, and executive. So it's A C M D E. So if you can remember that, A C M D E. Associate, consultant, manager, director, and executive. Okay. So as soon as you share or like find or have two people who are interested and they sign on with AutoShip and say like a 30 day package or whatever, you become a consultant. I'm just going to talk bonuses right now. A lot of us aren't in the bonus pool, but usually, and it's happened in the last couple of years after NYKO, which is January 13th to 15th in San Antonio, they always do a crystal reset. What that means is actually Brian, you're just starting back. So you're on this track. Um, but all of us, and Peter, if you're here too, um, you're, um, you're into your six months. But the thing is that all of us will be reset to zero to like it was our first day we enrolled and we can all get these bonuses again. Okay. You can get this every year. Okay. And you can, and, he, and what you want to do is help someone on your team get to, to executive. Okay. So you plus two right here, uh, $50. Now, if you help your friend, uh -oh, find two friends in uh, your uh, uh, 60 days and forgive me guys. I'm going to do this Canadian dollars. Okay. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to do American cause it's a lot easier. Um, $250. It's like 275, something like that for Canadian in 60 days. Okay. So that's your bonus. Now, you also get a coaching bonus of $100 for helping your friend find two friends. So that's an extra $200. Okay. So that gets you to your manager's level. Director is doing this four more times and helping your friends get their products paid for and finding two friends who are interested in weight loss, struggling for weight, energy, healthy aging. Somebody needs money. Okay. Who doesn't need money in this day and age? Um, people are looking for part-time jobs. Why wouldn't they do a sales job with network marketing? You can, you can kill two birds with one stone, health and wealth. So you have, um, 120 days to do this, which is director. So crystal director, and you get, um, uh, 750 and 832, I think Canadian. Okay. So there's your basically, oh, and plus, plus $400 for helping four people find two people. Okay, so there's basically your first thousand dollars is getting to the director level. Now, this is not including any kind of uh, commissions. This is just bonuses. I'll talk commissions in a second. Now, executive is here, and this is where we all are striving to get to because this is where you end up in all the bonus pools that they have running. And that's where you can make a, like thousands and thousands of free money throughout the year. 
okay? So we all want to get to Crystal Executive. And that is four more times it's for a total of five on each side and you have 180 days. So that's where your six months comes in really key right here. And this is where you get $1,000 or 1100 plus $400. Or one, two, three, four for coaching bonus. Now, at this point, sorry about director level point, you are making about 2000 a month extra money. Okay, so the thing is, you need to keep talking to people. Once you get here, you don't stop because this, this person might fall off. It, hap it, it happens all the time. This person might want to do this. So ideally, out of 10, you're going to get a couple who you're going to coach and we're going to coach together to do this exact thing. And then once, like I was saying, once you get to Crystal Executive, you get into all the matching bonus pools that Isogenics has. You um, also get 10% of everything that they're making as a match. And um, yeah, and that's where, that's where we all wanna be, right here. And doing it every year and helping that person get to executive and that person get to executive and adding and adding and adding people. 80% of your people are gonna be product users. 20% are gonna to want to you know, maybe just get to here, 2% are going to want to go gangbusters. So out of our group, we'll see how many of us get to here. So hopefully we're all on the same page and we're all going to work super hard and support each other because that's why we're doing this. Um, this company is amazing. It has amazing support it has amazing training it has amazing people it has amazing um, culture um, science and um, it's just it's one of the best companies you could be part of in my opinion um, I've worked government I've worked nonprofit I've had my own business and to be able to work for yourself in this scenario is a dream compared to some other scenarios you could be in so, so that is, that's your bonuses. Now I'm going to talk quickly just about the commissions. So um, I'm going to talk about the 30 day. Ah. Okay. So the commission for 30 day, I'm just going to talk about um, or here. So the commission for 30 day is Thirty dollars, uh, twenty-five Canadian, a uh, twenty-five U.S. thirty dollars Canadian. So anytime you bring somebody in with a thirty-day, that's the commission you get. For pay setter, it's sixty uh, Canadian, fifty U.S. and the presence pack is ninety U.S. and one hundred and ten Canadian. Okay, so those are our three major packages for good, better, best. And so the commissions are stated, as I just said, but if you, ha if you happen to bring two people in on one week, those commissions double. So they're called double introductory bonuses. So your $30 is now $60. Your $60 is now $120. So if you get two of two packages of the same, so, or maybe you get like a 30 day and a pace setter. So that's, 60 and 120 plus and yeah so that's your commissions it's one time the most important part is the residual income that comes in from having volume coming up both sides of your team so I know I've talked in talked to you individually about that it's in your back office. It's where you see BV summary. So that's business volume. 
and uh, you find it under your team page. You go to uh, view, um, view team and you'll see the breakdown there. So as long as you stay active with, with uh, AutoShip, you will always be accumulating everything that's been happening and being purchased below you. As soon as you fall off AutoShip, you lose everything. You have to start over. So that's one important reason why staying on an auto ship is important, if that matters to you. Some people stay on auto ship and they're just product users and they accumulate thousands and thousands of dollars worth of volume, but they don't care. But that's, I mean, that's their prerogative, right? Um, I know when I started doing the business, I had uh, a fair amount on one side and uh, John did too and when he started his, you know, it just cycled into like $1,200. He's just like, well, so that's what I mean. Um, so on your right and left side, if you have BV, your, can you see that? Hardly. Um, it needs to be an equal of 900. Hold on. So you have your, your right, no, whatever, right and left. And your BV summary, can you see, kind of see that. Sorry, I'm just gonna write this and then equals um, 900 BV equals one cycle equals $50. Okay, so, um, no, this is not working. Okay, so if you look at your, if you go to your team tree on, in your back office, and you see BV summary, and what, let me just show you actually, because this is important. Because this is where you wanna see the residual income coming in. And I'm going to show you my back office. I work on, I work two accounts, mine and John's. So I, I'm focusing a lot on his. Um, so you go to team and you go view my team. You guys don't have teams, but um, Drew, well, some of us have teams. And so this is what I'm talking about. So BV summary, see how this, well, this is the team side. This is the stronger side, as you can see. For one cycle, which is $50, you have to have a total of 900 in BV, like business volume between the two legs. So that one side has to be 600 points and one 300 or 300 and 600. So as you can see here, I always have 600. So I just have to get $300 worth of um, sales. So it's like three people buying a hundred dollar, a hundred BVs on one week, which equals 300 points matching with my 600 here equals one cycle. So I cycled last week two times. So that's a hundred dollars. Um, and it pays out every Monday. So you'll, if you start adding people and sharing and, and building your business, you will be getting weekly emails that say X number of dollars have been added into your bank account. Um, so anyways, that's, that's the BV in a nutshell. Now let's get to Facebook. Um, now for connecting, I want everybody to start thinking, um, oh, isn't that cute? Um, I'm going to unmute everybody. Okay, so we're going to get into the connecting part. Now, I want you to think about if you have not joined like a couple groups, I want you to think about stuff you like to do. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, there's usual stuff, like, you know, the kind of sports that we do. But think about the hobbies. Think about things that you're interested in and like search in Facebook and Lord knows you'll probably find something. So um, 
Well, I'm on this book. A lot of us are probably on cycling fun. But, you know, um, well, let's just give this one a... Okay, so when, you know, see, there's over 2,000 people. So that's fairly, fairly large, I think. Um, the thing is, when you join pages, you can't just randomly friend people because then you're going to get shut out of Facebook. So you need to add content. People need to get interested in you. Um, so if cycling's your passion and you like it, you know a lot about it, well, start posting stuff on there. And, um, and just post randomly. Like, say, pick five pages, five groups you're going to post to random, like, regularly. Excuse me. Then, at the end of the week or somewhere, you know, during the week, you'll go in and you'll search yourself. You'll search for your post because they're going to disappear. Okay, so here's, I put this up for Christmas. And so what I would do, and this is how I got a ton of friends. So, all right, all these, okay. I have four people here who are not my friends. So this is what I would do. I would take my book. <laughs> And I would write these people's names down. So basically, what I would do in one shot is I would take one clean sheet and I would friend 30 people. There's 30, 30 lines on here. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. So I'll friend those people. I will write their names down. And then I would go to my next post. Oh, 22. Let's see how many people I don't know. Uh, they're all my friends. Oh, there's a couple of people who are not my friends. I would friend them. I would write them down. Um, some comments. Let's see here. My, are these my friends? The, uh, oh, he's not my friend. Um, so, and... Uh, Oh, they're all my friends. So that's what I would do. Okay. I was on a mission. And so I would do 30 people at a time. Now, then after, so this is step two. Step one is posting. Step two is finding my posts and friending anybody who was interested in my post. Step three is I would go to my page because I'm not going to keep track of everybody. And I would go to my friends and I would search for these people that I wrote down. Okay. And if I, if they actually accepted my friend request, then I would send them a personal message and say, hey, how are you? Great to be connected on Facebook. I'm, uh, you know, psych well, this is, this is off a cycling page. So I'd say, hey, I'm a cycling coach and nutrition consultant, but I'm not looking for clients. You know, I just want to let you know. And, um, you know, what are your goals for this year? Um, and have a great day. And that's it. And so... I would get, you know, and then people would respond. And then I would start filtering out the responses. So if they just said, yeah, I just want to hammer hills. Well, I'm like, okay, well, I could spend time trying to engage in this kind of conversation or trying to make it a conversation. But I would get a lot of people are going, well, I had a kind of an okay year. You know, I have some goals and I'd like to lose weight. And I'm like, oh, that one goes over here. The little star beside it, they talked about weight loss or maybe somebody was talking about sports performance or something like that because our products cover sports performance. I would tag those ones and those are the ones that I would focus on. And, and uh, the others would, would um, uh, I would just focus on the ones that um, were 
of interest to me to, to continue on the conversation. Or if you ever notice that, um, you know, at the top of most people's um, messenger, if you're on mess, if you've downloaded messenger and I highly recommend to download messenger, it's it at the top, it says what they do for a business or for work or where they live. So I would say, Hey, what does that mean? Or like, what do you do for a living? Cause that sounds really interesting or whatever. You know, if it's something that I was truly didn't know what it was, I was like, you know, and then, you know, that would start a conversation. Um, so these are little things like I'm on. Um, so I like to can and dehydrate. Okay. Let's just say, um, canning and dehydrating food. All right, so look, there's, look at this one. I have over 100,000 members. So I do a lot of canning and I take pictures and, um, and so, and I post on some of these pages. And let's just see if I post on this one. All right, there's, I posted on one. All right, I got 22 likes. So guaranteed, I have, I've like, I don't know these people and they're all mostly women. So there is a place that I would probably focus on, um, comments, and on making new contacts, new friends. Um, I'm also on a farming page because I used to farm. I'm far yeah. farming, farm. Farming. Oh, it's a women's farming page. Anyways, I have to look at my groups. Oh, here's another one. Oxygen. Oxygen magazine. Hey, you guys, uh, inside fitness, whatever. There's 1,700 women who are looking to get fit, and it's part of, um, you know, uh, this is part of a group. Uh, it was a, it was a six month or a three month challenge. Anyway, so I joined that. I paid for it, and uh, I got onto this page, and you know, I added positive content to you know a lot of things, and and generate some friends. So there's another example. So really look at what you like to do that is, <clears throat> I said, out of the ordinary. And I bet you there's a page for it and get on there and, and start and just start adding positive content. Um, don't overtake it and, and make friends, make common friends. You have all something in common and this is the easiest way. But like I said, you have to write down the, the name of people you friend. Or else you're never gonna you're, you're never gonna figure it out. You're they're gonna fall off. You're gonna lose people, and some of these people could be really key. Um, that's pretty much what I've been doing on Facebook. I have not got into Instagram. Um, I'm trying to build up my following on Instagram, so I'm just posting pictures. Um, I started um, adding content on my. Um, my coaching page, but that's just my coaching page. Um, oops. So this is really slow going, but I don't recommend you do that, but I just had it there from a while ago. So I started trying to build up the, the activity on it. Um, and like I said, posting for yourself, posting about stuff, what you're doing, but not what it is, how you're feeling, how it's changing your life, how, you know, after Christmas, you're losing some weight and you stayed on a really good regime while you're, um, partying it up, all sorts of things like that. But gaining, like gaining curiosity, um, with all of your new friends, right? All your new friends that you're friending, you have to be consistent with your posting, what you're posting, so people know the type of person you are, like what you like, stuff like that. Okay, so 
Um, we got about twenty. We're gonna go. Does anybody want to? Um, um, let's do a text blast. We did this last week, and it's really, really um, great to sort of set up your week. Now, what a text blast is is we'll you go back. To, sorry, we'll go back to Facebook, and um, over here on the left hand the right hand side these are all your friends who are actively on facebook right now so now it's you can either a if you have people to follow up with follow up now or make some new connections say hey how you doing let's connect for for like coffee next, you know, like uh, this week or next week, or how are you doing? How are the kids? How is this? You know, anything to start up a conversation. Um, and let's get started. Does anybody have any questions about that? No? All right. Either I, I must have did something right. Okay. So iPhone, so who's on phones? I am. Okay, Chris? Yeah, uh, so I won't be able to do the text blast, but I'll watch in. Well, we're going to sort of go off of Zoom, and you can come back on in like 15 minutes. Oh, thanks. oh okay. Yeah, so who else is on their phone? Uh, Peter. Hey, Peter. Same with you. You can go off Zoom and come back in 10 and 15 minutes. Okay. And who else is on? Who's the third person? That might be me. Who's me? Me is Anthony. I'm Anthony, out. hey, how you doing? Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so everybody, it is currently 924, and I think we're all on Eastern Standard Time. Um, we're going to come back at... 940. Okay. Okay. So okay. before we leave, we have to do some statistics, some stats. So we have Chris. Mm -hmm. In 15 minutes, how many people do you think you're going to connect with? And how many appointments, meaning needing more information, sitting down, doing coffee, whatever, are you going to get? Oh my gosh. I've never done it before, so I'm not sure. I don't know. Just take like a six and two or something like that. Yep, that sounds good. Okay, Chris, six and two. Okay, Drew? Still there? No, oh, I think he disappeared. Maybe he's already started. Okay, um, Brian? Um, I'll go with five and two. Five and two. Awesome. Okay, Anthony, did you want to do this? I'm going to see what happens here. <laughs> hey, this is a great thing to start talking to your guys. All right. Um, just before I'm off, you could say, like, I just want to let you know what I'm doing. And um, if you're, because you're, you're going to start on Friday, so you say, like, hey, does anybody want to join me? in this 30 days. Okay. Tell them there's a money back guarantee, okay? Because <laughs> you know, like people are like, oh, well, I don't know. What if I don't like it? You're like, well, there's a money back guarantee if you don't like it. Right. So what do you say? Um, I don't know, three or four? Three, three and four? Yeah. No, four and three. three. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And then Peter. Uh, I don't really know. I got a really busy weekend, so I don't know. I can make any commitments right now, but. Oh, okay. Do you want to connect with some a couple friends, like family? Yeah. Uh, I might try with my brother. Oh, yes, that's right. Start connecting with your brother. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how about one and one? Yeah, maybe I could try that. I mean, I, I can try him and then, you know, see how that goes. But I'm sure you have some cycling friends. Uh, yeah, although not so many I know around here. It's more from, like, you know, 
the I Love Road Cycling VIP site. Yeah, this is a global business. You can have, you can, like, you have people in Canada, you can have people in Colombia, you can have people in Mexico, Australia. So you can connect with people way outside of your area. All right, we'll do two and one. Okay. I'll, and, I'll, yeah, I'll probably focus on my brother first and see what he thinks. And then yeah. And then I'm going to do, so we got to get started here. Um, I'm going to do this, the six and two as well. All right. So everybody, um, let's come back at like, uh, okay, now it's like, okay, 945. So you can leave Zoom. I'm going to keep it open, but everybody else mute yourselves or get off camera and start connecting. And then come back at 945 and give, give your results. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say bye-bye to everybody and we'll see you back at uh, um, 945. No, I think it's our harassment. My friends, they're still my friends. Um, where are the batteries? They should have been in the box.